Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Hardcore Minecraft Take 3, and way last we left the Avatar, he had a very successful excursion down into the ground. We found a few resources, we're gonna be using them now. Let's go back into our home and smelt this iron ore. Now we need four iron ore for 32, and for the remaining few bits we will use some sticks. We have plenty of uh, oak logs, we're going to be turning them into a mixture of sticks and planks, because we're going to be building the farming enclosure for our crops. Mainly wheat, because we only have wheat. So when I said mainly wheat, I actually literally meant wheat. That's all we've got. So ignore me there, we don't have anything else. At least not yet. Now we have a few more doors, none of that's really going to help me get more torches. This will help me get more torches though. We shall get, uh, how many more? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That should get me another 40. And then a few more. That should be fine. More than enough torches for my needs, apart from the fact that I'm going to need some to illuminate my, uh, enclosure, so a little more. While this is, uh... Smelting away, we shall get some more fences. We'll have that, we'll have all of these. 21 is not going to be enough, we are going to need some more. How many more? Maybe 42? 42 should be sufficient. I want to put the uh, produce maybe here? I could actually put the produce right next to me, but uh, then I'd have to contend with this... Uh, patch of ground. Maybe I'll put this in front of me. That's actually not a bad idea. I could put it right by the water. So let's do this. And it is starting to get dark, so I'm not going to be doing this for very long. Also, I put this in the air for some reason. That was rather silly of me. Let's actually go and rest before I continue this, so that I'm not uh, placing down fencing, and then suddenly a zombie comes over and goes, What are you doing? And I say, Well, I'm building this fence, and oh, you're eating my brains. Yes, I am. Could you stop? No. And then the avatar perishes. Let us put the uh, gate there. Not that there. Keep doing that. And we'll do that. Put all of these here, up to here, and then close this off. Ah, it's the, uh, it's the tall grass that's making me do that. That makes sense. We can deal with it. There we go. And there we go. It's nice and illuminated for the most part, and also I really should seal off this, uh, area beneath me. I doubt I'm going to be going there in the near future. It's now blocking my way to my farming area. Now I want to uh, get a few more torches. One here will do, and one here will do. Are they level? Mostly. I haven't made a uh, very evenly shaped uh, enclosure. Now let's farm this so that we get the uh, Wheat and seeds there. How is the iron doing? That is more than enough for what we need right now. We need a helmet. We also need a set of shears, and we also need a bucket. Now that we have all of those, we're ready to go. We can use the shears to get wool whenever we want without killing the sheep, which is very handy. We can use the bucket to get some water, and we're going to wear the helmet. Now we're fully prepared for everything that we will face until we get diamond armor. It's going to be a long time before we get diamond armor. We now have water. And if I just make a 2 by 2 hole here, as I'm sure many people who play Minecraft know, I can make an unlimited source of water. If only this worked in real life! Now let us get some... That is one minor problem with uh, having your farming enclosure directly above a smaller cave system. That can happen. Not here, though. Or here. Or here. Right, let's get some more water. 
go. And there we go. I know this is not going to be uh, efficiently laid out. It doesn't have to be. It only needs to sustain the avatar. And trust me, it's going to do that. One of these, that one there, had a uh, block. Now, let's do that. The pause there was because I was thinking on where I would uh, place these here. I know, way too much water. I know water has a much uh, further reach than I'm giving it credit for. But, pays to have multiple sources of it. Now we're going to uh, get loads of uh, farming patches here. Loads more than I have currently uh, by that bit of water. Now I have more recipes. I can make dye. If I choose to. Actually, we should probably just get rid of all of the uh, bits of tall grass here. There we go. That is a lot of farmland. And we already have ten seeds, so let's plant them. Brilliant. And let's go get a few more. By a few more, I mean I have a fair few seeds. It's one of the things you never run out of seeds. Once you start farming, they just swarm in your uh, treasure chest and clog them all up. Eventually you have to make a way to get rid of them. But for now... Oh, actually, uh, for now, I should actually do that as well. Make a little more farming area, and I've actually run out of seeds. That's okay, we can get more. By uh, getting rid of this area. There we go. Twelve more seeds, more than sufficient. One, two, three. Brilliant. Now, we can get rid of this farm area. I like to uh, get rid of it just so that the uh, bit of the coastline looks a lot better. And I could be using my shovel, but to do this I think I will uh, just use uh, the avatar's hands. There we go. And a few more, and we'll be done. We also want to get some uh, of the uh, sugar cane growing here. Here's actually a good place to grow it. It's pretty close to uh, where I'm farming. We'll keep this bit here, though. And we'll go... One, two. We can get a bit more. There's a bit more over here. There's a lot more over here. And there are sheep. But the sheep are everywhere. They're absolutely legion. Are indeed. They're looking at what the avatar is doing and going, hmm, not sure I like this. This whole building things and changing things so that he can live. Hmm. And thus they pondered. Now, do we have any more of this? We have loads of it. Let's plant loads of it. We're going to need this so that we can make bookshelves at some point. Why do we need bookshelves? Why do we need anything? So that we can make more things, of course. There we go. Perfect. And we do have a bit of bone meal. Bones become bone meal. There we go. Twelve. We can use this to start growing the uh, wheat here so that we can get a bit more food. I just want a little bit more food. There we go. Much better. And we also want a few more seeds. That is brilliant. The house I'm certainly going to improve at some point. Not going to improve it just yet, though. Also, this uh, chest there, I'm going to improve that at some point. We're also going to uh, get some blocks of coal. And all of these, we also need a uh, few more um, sticks than I thought we would. We need ten. That should be fine. We want lots of sticks anyway. Half this, that gives us the ten. There we go. There are new versions of the uh, furnace. There is a furnace that smelts ore faster. It doesn't make it uh, 
any more efficient in terms of coal, or charcoal, depending upon what you're using, or whatever else you're using, buckets of lava work, but it does make it faster. And then there is the smoker, which cooks food faster. Right now, a good old regular furnace, fine enough for me. We also have more of that that we could put into more blocks. There we go. So let's try and organize this, shall we? We'll have the various tools down here. We'll have dirt there, stone there of many different kinds. We'll have glass there, blocks of coal can go there. This is all a vain effort. It's uh, going to be uh, not long before I get more treasure chests to store different things, but for now I just want things to be a little bit more organized. We'll have the various wood things there, like that, that there, the brown wool there. I don't think this is too bad. It's certainly uh, a lot better than it was, but it could still be a lot better. And look at me just constantly shuffling things around. I'll never actually be done. It'll never end. I want two blocks of iron. I want that uh, iron to be in ingot form. I keep saying bar. Is it a bar? Is it an ingot? The answer is, it's both. And neither. We'll shuffle these around. We'll get more. We'll get one loaf of bread, because I actually want to get a few more animals. Let's get another cow. There we go! We have another cow! Marvellous. We now have four. That's how many I want. And we want another sheep. And what I want to do is I want to uh, have you and you. And the sheep was... Aha! The mixture of the two colours there. You get a uh, white sheep and a different sheep. And you can get things like uh, this light grey sheep. You can also mix things like, uh, for instance, yellow and blue, and you will get green. Yellow and red, and you'll get orange. There are lots of different colour combinations. Now, do I want to go back out into the mine? I probably do, because uh, we do need more resources. And we also want another iron pickaxe, and that we do. We definitely want to head out at some point. Sooner rather than later. Also, we should plant this flower. Problem is, I don't have many um, food items. The food items is a problem. That's what I ideally want. Lots of food. We do have one more piece of food, though. Miscooked mutton. That will help, at the very least. But me just staying here is simply delaying uh, going out to get more stuff, and we do need more stuff. We also need more food, but we need more iron, we need more coal, we also need better stuff, like gold. And that reminds me of the thing that I said I would do when I didn't press my button. Why did I put the button there if I didn't press it? Who knows? We need some oak planks, and we need an oak boat. The boat will help me get to where I need to be a lot faster. And where's that? It's over there, of course. So, let's get uh, rowing. Left shift to dismount, and if I just press uh, W for forward, I go a lot faster on the water. This will get me over to my mining area super quickly. Should have done this first, but I didn't like a fool. There are many things I will do that are foolish. It's just something that you have to accept when you watch me play this game. Hello, you! I'm going to stop right about here. Left shift to dismount, and I'm going to make a small stack here, and illuminate it with that torch, so that I know this is where I need to stop to get to my mining location which is again illuminated by this torch. And if I head over to there, I'm trying my best to avoid falling down here and taking needless damage, we will find my way in. And 
That, I believe, is right here. Also, that torch is facing the wrong way. Or is it? Actually, uh, having two there's probably a good idea. We also want to put that there and this here. And that stone one there. Never know when I might find a use for the stone one. Might as well expend it. Down we go once again! And I hear a zombie pretty much immediately. That's never good. Let's go the way that we were going before, to the ravine. Can I actually find where the ravine is? That's a good question. We'll follow these illuminated torches and see where they take me. The answer is they take me over to here, which is a big circle. So actually, we don't want to go down this way ever again. So let's prevent that from happening. There we go. And we could go down there, potentially. But not right now. Also, there's nothing here. So, changing the torches to that, much better. It's this way we want to go. There's that way we could go? You know what, let's go this way for now. Let's see if this brings us to a uh, more natural entrance to the ravine. Probably... Nope, it brings me to absolutely nowhere. There wasn't even coal! So let's ignore that forever, and instead... go this way. Just put this here, and we will head up. Putting a torch here to signify... actually here... to signify that we want to head up. And do we want to go down or this way? We want to go this way. We want a better way to do it, too. This is where this pickaxe and the stone pickaxe will come in handy. And that broke, but we can use this one to keep digging. Like so. And we have new recipes that we can do stuff with. Because we got that. Now let us, uh... Use this final torch here, go to my next stack of 64, and there we go. We can go this way, all the way over to here, and I want to tentatively mine this coal. I ideally want to make my way down to the very bottom. That's where all the good goodies are going to be, and it's certainly uh, closer to where the gold will uh, potentially spawn. It's also where all the peril is, but then... The further down you go, peril and, uh, treasures appear in abundance. Risk and reward. And while we are playing, uh, hardcore, and thus there is a lot of risk, we have to go for it. So, let's start digging down. And mark the way. Eventually, we'll get to the bottom. Or we'll completely miss the bottom and dig into a pit of lava! That could also happen. But you know me, folks. I will find a way to survive, only to then get defeated by something exceptionally easy to avoid. That is the Kiko way. We are pretty much at the bottom right now. That's good. That's bad, though. That lava... pretty bad. There's a few resources here. There's also that coal there that I ideally want to go back up and get. Was it that far down to the uh, bottom? Let's, uh, mine down to here. You have to be very careful with ravines that things uh, don't drop on top of you. Because there are lots of levels to the uh, ravine, and, uh, Enemies like appearing on uh, higher ledges and then just plummeting down to where you are. They do take damage for uh, falling, but they also uh, will hurt you. Such is the nature of enemies. No enemies so far, though. That's good. Gonna block off this there so that I don't have any uh, danger when it comes to mining that. There's also some uh, iron just there. I keep getting lured back up to here, only because this iron is a fair bit safer than anything else I could potentially mine down there. 
is also a tiny bit above me. I need to be careful of that. Watch me not be careful of that. There we go. That's not too terrible. There's also some... Uh, we could make a way over to the other side. And that's actually not a bad idea. So that we can get to the other side of this ravine relatively safely. And we want to illuminate over here. We definitely want to illuminate. There we go. Not bad. The fact that there are no enemies here, this really troubles me though. I don't want there to be enemies, of course, but uh, being able to see them means that I can plan around uh, encountering them. Or plan to encounter them. We'll just quickly grab this coal while we're here. There we go. I will definitely descend down, though. But that will be for next time. And so, when we come back, folks, we will explore the bottom of this ravine. And maybe find a way to go even further down. To get to where some of the really valuable resources are. Because iron is nice, coal is not bad, but it's gold that we want. And of course, lustrous diamond. We want lots of diamond, as much diamond as we can find. But finding it is the tricky part. Oh, isn't it the tricky part? And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. I hear you, zombie. I'll eventually encounter you, it's only a matter of time. The question is, are you going to be down there, or are you going to plummet from the sky? Well, not the sky, from further up in the ravine. Oh, there's a zombie! Do you see that zombie? That zombie is holding something. There's also a uh, skeleton there. And another skeleton. Let's hope they don't decide to fall down and surprise me. That's probably a sword that that zombie has. But I probably won't get it. The zombie's very unlikely to come down. But it's a good thing I noticed them. Now I can plan for them ambushing me. Let's hope it doesn't happen. But it probably will. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.